All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be talking about how to plug the PS4 controller into your Windows 10 computer and get the whole thing running using an open source driver called DS4 Windows. What this program does is it tricks your computer into thinking it's an Xbox controller, so it just ends up using the built in drivers that come with your Windows 10 computer. So all you gotta do is hit this website, ds4windows.com, I'll put the link in the video description below, and download this program, and then we're gonna unzip it to get everything to work. Once you've got it downloaded off the website, it'll take you to GitHub to do so. You'll get a folder that's a zip folder called DS4 Windows. If you've got a program to unlock zip folders or uncompress them, go ahead and right click the file and find it. Mine is 7-zip. You can also use the extract all function on Windows 10. And we're going to extract this folder to one of the exact same name. It's worth noting that unless specified otherwise, this program will install this driver wherever you've got the download folder. So don't just extract the whole thing to your desktop without putting it in a folder because you'll just have files everywhere. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open up the DS4 Windows program. And we're just gonna leave this stuff right here. Um, I'm gonna put this program here in this folder because it's just easier to get at and delete later if I need to. And this is going to keep everything right here. But not everything is currently installed for the program. So we're gonna go over here to settings. We're gonna go down here, controller slash driver setup. We're gonna click on this. I'm gonna tell it, yes, let's install stuff. And the first thing I need to do is I need to install the whole of the DS4 driver, because right now it's just got the installer. So I'll click on the step one and it'll download everything. It's really small and won't take you but a moment. And it'll make sure everything's properly installed and talking to the drivers on your machine. And once it says install complete, if you're on Windows 10, you should be done and good to go because the, the Xbox controller drivers are built into the operating system. If you're running anything that's below Windows 10, like Windows 7 or below, I think even some instances of Windows 8, you may need to manually install the Windows 360 driver. For right now, we're good to go, so we're just gonna click finish. Next, we need to actually plug in our controller, or if you've got this hooked up via Bluetooth, you need to turn it on so it's talking to your computer. And I'm gonna plug it in. Now it shows up, and you're good to go. This uses the default button map where it just mirrors what your controller is like on the Xbox controller. If you leave this program open and minimized, you can now go off and play whatever game that you want and it should read this as an Xbox controller and you're good to go. Alternatively, if you don't wanna use this program and you still wanna be able to use your PS4 controller with whatever game you wanna play, you can add the game to Steam manually to add it to your library, and then you can use Steam's drivers to do the same thing. But both of these are pretty portable and easy to set up. Now, if you want to change anything in this program, like you need to do some button rebinding, whoops, I didn't want to do that at all. If you want to do some button rebinding, you need to go over here to profiles and either add a new profile or edit this existing one. And this will let you go through and remap any button that you want by clicking on it and messing around with this little menu here. That's a little bit more in depth than I want to get with this particular tutorial. So we'll go ahead and do that later. Just know that if you want this particular program to work, most of the time you've got to leave it open and minimized to your system tray or else it won't properly read your controller. If for whatever reason it's conflicting with something else, I believe you hit this stop button down here to stop DS4 from doing its thing to try and see if you can get your PS4 controller to work with something else that may have built in drivers. So until next time, I've been your host, Larry. This has been the quick and simple setup for DS4 Windows driver to use your PS4 controller to play whatever game you want on your Windows 10 machine. Also works for Windows 7, 8, and probably Vista and XP. 
Although, I, if you're still using those old systems, you really need to upgrade, or else you're not going to be able to play a lot of the new games coming out in the future. So I hope you found this useful. If you got any questions, throw those down in the comment section below, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.